58 part 9, we'll continue to look at the swing and its component parts. We've just looked at the shoulder rotation in depth and how the shoulder operates everything from the neck down. And if your posture's good, and your shoulder turns good, 15 good things happen. So I've got a tennis rack in my hand now and I just turn my shoulder and you can see that I'm going to get to there. Form rotation allows the journey to continue and the wrist for the journey to complete. So the natural order, shoulder, forearms and wrists. Now you can't play golf in three lumps, they'll know you're mad. The skill is to mix them. So, I step into explainer, which is just a nice overview of the swing plane, and you can see that my tennis racket is vertical or perpendicular to the explainer. And as I turn my shoulder, at the halfway point, my racket has rotated through 45 degrees. And when I hinge my wrists, I get the rest. Can you see? that the racket has rolled 90 degrees. So, the shaft of the club is below the plane, but as we turn the shoulder, the forearms, not only do they roll, but they rise. Anybody that teaches shaft play in the takeaway is a heretic. It's just not right. The shaft plane is below the swing plane. You look at all players at the top, near enough. I know you've got Dale and Furet, but we know where the plane is at the top. Don't tell me it's shaft plane. So if you start off in shaft plane, and then adjust, and this is the damage that was done to Tiger Woods under Hank Haney. Haney has loads of videos encouraging a shaft plane takeaway, and then the pupil rolls and rises. And Tiger's still recovering, I believe, from that damage and it's 2015 as I speak. So, if we understand the swing plane, we appreciate that as the shoulder turns, the forearms roll and rise. That's quite complex, so let's go through it. Here's me swinging in horizontal plane. If I turn sideways to the camera, you can see that this angle is bent. So, as I make my backswing, as the shoulders turn, the forearms roll and rise. Can you see the butt of the club has risen? The butt of the club was sort of level with the top of my tummy. But by the time the batsman is completed, the butt of the club has come from my tummy to at least my shoulders. It's ri risen about a foot or so. Now, even though that's true, it's so complicated, I don't think you can teach it. Even if you understand it, you're going to have to learn 13 variations, one for every club. So the good news is this, if your grip and posture are good and the wrists and the shoulders work, then the complexity of the forearm rotation, roll and rise, is taken care of. You know, it would be lovely if we could play golf the way we play tennis, okay? So I use the six iron as a tennis racket. Can you see that? I've hit that ball about 130 yards, withdraw just with a tennis action. That was a bit thin but it still had draw spin. Now, in the few seconds or, or fraction of a second it took, I turned and I released the club face like a tennis shot. The club face was rotating. So here I am hitting tennis shots with a six iron. Sweet as a nut, you can appreciate how volatile the form rotation is at, and yet the ball contrives to fly with a neutral draw. So, within the constraints, or should I say disciplines of explainer, we're still playing tennis. We load, and the forearms have risen and rolled. We hit the shot, the forearms drop and roll to roll and rise again. Just watch that, the butt of the club. It rolls and rises, it rolls and drops to roll and rise again. It's far too complicated. If you mix the wrist to the shoulder, all that complexity is taken care of. So. Going back to the tennis racket. Shoulder turn takes me this far. Forearm rotation takes me to three quarters and wrist hinge to full. If I turn sideways to you, there's an angle here. You can see that angle rolls and rises. If you stay on the shaft plane, you're severely damaged. Your arm is across your chest. You're gonna do all sorts of contortions like stack and tilt to make it work. The fact of the matter is, when we turn our shoulders, the left arm rolls and rises. If Dolly Parton played golf, 
and went back on the shaft plane. She had two black eyes in the takeaway. She's a big girl, Dolly. The wrist hinge and the forearm rolls and rises, that's why girls with a big chest could play golf. If Dolly swung on the shaft plane, she's going to have a major injury. Dolly Parton, my favourite trio.